Good afternoon. We are once again at the Frontier uh, Investment Conference 2011, and I'm joined here by uh, Thomas Eastling, who is from the American Appraisal uh, uh, Group. Uh, he's based out of Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and um, Thomas, would you be so kind just to introduce what uh, what your company does and what your uh, you, sure. Yourself? We are an American company that's over 115 years old, and we provide uh, valuation for corporate assets, whether they're fixed assets or real estate or intangibles, such as brands or IP or that type of thing. Um, we're a global firm. I'm based in uh, Hong Kong. We have operations throughout Asia, and we're pleased to be here again in Mongolia. Mm. Um, so you, uh, you value or you advise uh, your clients, basically, right? Do you... Um, Typically, we're involved in, in uh, providing valuation for, in, in case of Mongolia, mining assets, usually mm -hmm. in regard to listing in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. but it could be in regard to M&A transactions um, or, or some other financial reporting requirements. Okay. So, have you seen uh, an uptick in the, in the last few years in uh, uh, companies coming in or the, the, the deals being done here? Or I would say that two years ago, Mongolia wasn't even really on our radar screen, mm -hmm. um, and now we have people here quite actively. Um, so we definitely think it's a growth market and it's going to continue. So you have people on the ground here or are you working out of Hong Kong base? Uh, mainly it's out of Russia actually, but we also send people from either Beijing or Hong Kong as the case may be. Okay. We do not have an office here yet. Uh, what, what, are, what are some of the most interesting deals? Uh, well, well, we are involved in South Gobi, which is one of the first listings to come out of Mongolia for Hong Kong and then also uh, Mongolia Mining. Mm -hmm. uh, both of those have done very well, and then since then we've been involved in a number of different uh, valuation transactions here that are more M&A related, but we're also looking to obviously more IPOs in the future. Mm. So uh, if I'm an investor and I, I come to you, what, what type of services would, uh, would American Appraisal uh, provide? Typically you would see us in regard to the offering circular for an IPO in regard to the valuation of the property, or it may be the valuation of some of the uh, various assets they might have, such as I mentioned, a brand or a building, that type of thing. So we're part of the disclosure process to provide transparency. Okay. And we are typically brought in by the auditors for this type of thing, or the sponsoring banks. How do you, how do you deal with, uh, uh, with the valuations here in Mongolia, which I can imagine would be uh, quite a bit more challenging than in other countries? How, how do you go about, about valuing uh, these assets? Here? Well, uh, of course, we always have to pay attention to disclosure. But in fact, Mongolia works under IFRS, which is International Financial uh, Reporting Standards. Mm -hmm. So in that basis, it's quite clear. When we do property valuations, we have to be very careful to check um, the title rights in countries like Mongolia because that's required by the exchanges. Mm, okay. But otherwise, it's, uh, it's a good market for us. Okay. Um, just to close off, uh, any any risks you see or any great opportunities coming down the line, any big well, deals coming up? So substantial opportunities, obviously, that everyone knows about in mm. regard to the large assets they have here. The risks, um, you know, there's always some concern in regard to uh, politically going forward, but we're quite bullish, generally speaking, in regard to Mongolia, and we operate in many different countries around the world, uh, and we think this is a, a good place to be, do business. Are you concerned about inflation? Mm, Inflation is a problem in many different markets. Obviously, we're very active in China, too, so we yeah. pay attention to those things, but they don't really affect us in providing our valuations. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. And Pleasure. Enjoy the conference. Thank you. Thank you.